This person stretches her five-year-old's uh, vagina. Sure. Her five-year-old daughter. <laughs> she stretches it every day. Sure, you well, got to get in there. She stretches it. Stretch yeah. it yeah. That is not anything I've right. ever heard of. All right, I that is to Steve. absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm bringing it up because abuse. I, I, we were kind of creeped out by this conversation. Yeah. Is all I want to say right. without giving too much away. You don't know what you're talking but, about. Oh, Jesus. Doctor Steve. Yeah. Someone I've uh, interacted with uh, told a story how she stretches her um, five-year-old daughter's vagina every morning. Okay. I guess uh, the daughter was born with a closed vagina? Yeah, vaginal atresia, probably. Vaginal, vaginal atresia. atresia. Vaginal uh. atresia? What's vaginal that? Is that like atresia. vaginal shrubbery? No, Chip. A tree. We, we were hard... We were horrified when this story was being told. I'm like, what the fuck? And all I was thinking was, I got to call Dr. Steve. I was busy <laughs> yesterday. I would have called you, you know, off air. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. supposedly her daughter was born with vaginal, what is it? Atresia. Punch that up there. Vaginal uh, atresia. The Punch vaginal atresia. And, and what does that mean? Like uh, the, the, the opening isn't fully yeah, open? She, right. It was, she was born with a too small vagina. Ew. And and you've heard? Have you heard of? Oh God! I don't want to see it. Damn it! Fuck! Let me see it. Ew! It's just it's like it's it's wait wait, wait. it's like a Barbie doll. Wait, there's a lot of shit on this screen right now. I know. I don't want to. Ah, boy, that's my homepage. We're looking at the upper fucking right hand bloody that. Ah, But what's that blob over there? I don't know. And why is there? Oh, you don't have to shut the curtains for vaginal atresia. Yeah. yeah. Do. No, you don't. We don't. And what about the oh, hair yeah. lift kid? Why is that on the same page? I don't know. It's vaginal atresia. As the vaginal atresia kids. <laughs> Stretch it. It gets worse, though. As uh, they get older, they'll use vaginal dilators. Won't get worse for us, though. Huh, guys? Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice and tight. Huh? Yeah, my mother used to call it cunt stretching. <laughs> <laughs> what's, now, uh, what's 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 the dilator? Well, uh, they they look like I guess little dildo things, and you they, you insert them larger and larger and larger. And what they used to do now when I, this was twenty five years ago, I don't know if they're still doing this now, but they would have a bicycle seat that had this vaginal stretcher on it, and the girl would have to you know straddle it. And, Sit on it. Oh wow! I have oh, one of those in my living room. Oh, oh, God. That's no. gotta fuck Come them up on. psychologically. But it's also so they yeah. have a normal vagina, right? It, it helps them. Right, right. But, that's the that's the. Goal. Why can't there be a little surgery where you do a little, uh, you know, make the, Cause, you know, cause the, what, slit the slit? Because doesn't like as they grow, the cunt grows. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's not like there's a fully formed vagina and it's just sealed off and all they need to do is open it up. The, the <laughs> oh, the whole itself vagina is itself is yeah, too right. small. All right. Right. And, well, the, the, the and whole... there's not much of an opening on top of it. Exactly. So, so basically they're trying to open the whole cunt tube. <laughs> so, right. You want to stretch the cunt tube. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. But Dr. Steve, so <laughs> this person told us this and said that she's stretching it every morning. So how do you think she's stretching it? Like you, the way you're saying? You're using or, a dilator. Uh, dilator. Oh, my God. You start with a Chang Wang and you end up with a Mandingo. Hey, we got a, <laughs> we got a woman on the line that was born with vaginal oh, atresia. Oh, nice. Let's talk to her. Lonely. You're on line one. <laughs> hey, Karen. Oh. Uh, only lonely in my teen years. Oh, after piccolo that. pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Karen! That vaginal atresia is all I had! <laughs> now that that's fixed, I'll never feel the walls, Karen! <laughs> all right, Karen, what did you do? Used to, um, okay, this is the most bizarre part. I was born in uh, 70. Barn? So the treatments were different then. Right. And uh, you remember the little um, things you could get, and they were like nasal sniffers. They were like white tubes. They oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I, still, I just got one recently. They were like Vicks. Uh, you, yeah. you put them, yes. I other things. Okay, my mother, for as long as I can remember, I used to have to use that thing like three and four times a day. And what happened was my vaginal walls, think about like, okay, you guys work out. If you get a Charlie horse in your calf, 
That's what the inside of my vagina felt like all the time. Oh, so wait a minute. Man. You would have to use this little thing, and then what would you do afterwards? Would you realize, did someone finally tell you in your teen years that your vagina was not congested? <laughs> that, that wasn't the problem? <laughs> She's trying to blow her vagina. It's all sniffly vagina. <laughs> You go through a series of uh, dilators, and, and it increases as your body grows. Oh. But before I got married, and I was brought up really religious, so I had an arranged marriage when I was 18. Oh, wow. What? Wait, wait. Crazy. That's a story in itself. Yeah. Yeah, I was brought up in, like, the Westboro Baptist Church kind of situation. Oh, boy. Oh, oh wow. That doesn't mean that I am that today. Right. Quite the difference. I'll actually say my cunt is dysfunctional. Oh, wow. Oh. Is it better? Is your cunt better now? Um, it is extremely tight for a woman of my age. Whoa. How old are you? Giving birth, I'm in my 40s, and even after giving birth, it was like I was a virgin again. You uh, gave vaginal birth? No yes. way. Wow. I wow. trying to open that thing up a little bit. Jesus. So I was able Would you give birth son? to a snake? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's Mrs. Bull on the phone. <laughs> now, how awful was the head when it came out? How squishy was it? Oh, well, first off, I was completely knocked out, and my episiotomy went all the way oh, I mean, toward neck. Was... <laughs> yeah. You know what the episiotomy is? Is that when right? they slice the veg? Oh yeah. The kid came out like it was in a Play-Doh Fun Factory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Was does he look like somebody with rectal cancer? Shit, I did have. That. Wow, that was like a little fun joke around the house. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy I, fuck! You guys really go for broke with the humor in that yeah. family. <laughs> But no, it really is a real thing. And before I got married, I had to go to a class and then to physical therapy and actually learn how to dilate myself with a dildo. And I still have that dildo to this day. Oh, <laughs> you, get, you guys, Sweet. we got to see one of these, man. So it does look like a tiny vagina? No, it looks like a regular, like, like. Dildo. It was a dildo. No, your vagina. No, your vagina. No, your veg. Is your Sorry. vagina what are your ears really sewn up too? What does your vagina look like <laughs> when you sit back and you spread your legs open? What What does it look like compared to a normal vagina? Does it look like Jackie Chan winking. When I compare to the kicks in porno flick, it's much smaller and it's really it, it's much thinner in the slit. Oh. Much thinner, really? Yeah, yeah. you don't have like. It doesn't look like, blah, 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 blah. hello. Now, I probably know the answer to this, but could you possibly send us a picture of it? Oh, man. So we can look at it? That'd be nice. I'm a little old to be doing that. Then. Nah, you're never too old. <laughs> I'm a little old to be doing that. <laughs> it looks like a balloon when you pull it and it goes, <laughs> you know, when you pull the neck of a balloon. <laughs> That's what her queefs sound like. <laughs> 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 uh, oh god yeah it's funny uh, wow <laughs> thank you for calling in though harmonica box I really <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the call that was really interesting uh, yeah is. thank you karen jesus that karen's, was terrific. karen's a good know? sport Who wow doctor this is right, i feel better now because you know when you hear that uh this, someone is stretching their five-year-old's vagina every yeah. morning well no that wasn't the problem. problem it was the fact that she charges other people to come in and stretch his <laughs> 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 right, right. <laughs> money-making venture it sure is old yeah. piggy bank box <laughs> I, I just went from never talking to this person again to all right. I all guess right. Uh, I guess it's something yeah, you got to do. I went just the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And uh, yeah, it, it creeped us out when she said it because uh, this person, you know, she might not, you know, English might not be her uh, first language yeah, on top of yeah. it. So it makes it like, what the fuck is going on in your house? At least there's fixing it though. That's like the equivalent of a guy with a small dick. And if a guy's got a small day, he's just fucked. There's nothing he can do about it. Right, sure. Sam? Oh, Sam. I, I, phimosis is not the same thing as what Dr. Steve is describing. Oh. 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 Hey, we got a guy that banged a chick with vaginal atresia. Oh, he says his buddy How do you say it again? Atresia. Atresia. Vaginal atresia. Yo, Vaginal atresia. Where my sister atresia? <laughs> see, because it sounds black. Yo, Rich, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. So this, so this chick in college, real, real petite girl... Um, she was actually a sorority chick, so she actually got around the block a little bit. But Ooh. this real petite girl used to date my buddy, who was actually a black guy. A sin, I know. He was white and he was black. Oh, boy. Um, but uh, he was like, every time we tried to have sex, she'd always push me away. And the only thing I would ever get into her 
was just the tip of it, and he goes, it wasn't even fucking worth it, so he just used to tell her to blow him. <laughs> well, because a black guy, every girl he dates oh. feels like they have vaginal atresia. Yeah. Every uh, girl tries to push like, him away, like, too. Yeah, exactly. With, with their hands or the mace. Yo, that motherfucking mace don't taste good. <laughs>